Have you one of the millions that own one of them gas drink? Piston clanking, smoke belt, air polluting, four wheel buggy from Detroit City. Then pay attention, brother, I'm about to sing your song, son. But I think it's time I set me up the choice words All about that theme in the automobile The metal monster with the polyglass wheels The end results of the dream of Henry Ford Now I got a car that's mine alone That me and the finance company own A ready-made pile of manufactured grief And if I ain't out of gas in the pouring rain I'm a fix in a flat in a hurricane I once spent three days lost on a clover leaf and it ain't just the smoke in the traffic jam that make me the bitter fool I am, but this four wheel buggy is a dollar and me to death. For gas and oil and fluids and grease and wires and tires and antifreeze and them accessories, well, honey, that's something else. Well, you can get stereo tape and a color TV, a back seat bar and reclining seats, and just pay once a month like you do year end. I figured it up, and over a period of time, this four thousand dollar car of mine cost four thousand dollars and ninety five cents. Well now, Lord, Mr. Ford, I just wish that you could see what your simple horse this carriage has become. Well, it seems your contribution to man, to say the least, got a little out of hand. Well, Lord, Mr. Ford, what have you done? Play the guitar, son. Well now, the average American father and mother own one whole car and half another. Well, I bet that half a car's a trick to drive. <laughs> but the thing that amazes me, I guess, is the way we measure a man's success by the kind of an automobile he can afford to buy. Well, now, it's red light, green light, traffic cop. Right turn, no turn, must turn, stop. Get out the credit card, honey. We're out of gas. All the cars placed in the end would reach to the moon and back again, and it'd probably be some poor fool pull out the fast. Well, how I yearn for the good old days without that carbon monoxide haze hanging over the roar of the interstate. If the Lord that made the moon and the stars had a meant for me and you to have cars, I'm sure we'd all be born with a park in space. Now, Lord, Mr. Ford, I just wish that you could see what your simple horse this carriage has become. Well, it seems your contribution to man, to say the least, got a little out of hand. Well, Lord, Mr. Ford, what have you done? Come away with me, Lucy, in my smoking, choking automobile.